Okay, so very quick, very dirty video. Uh, this is our Carlson Curve Tracer build. So if you can see on the monitor there, the uh, channel 1 is representing our oscillator circuit. This isn't going to make too much sense if you haven't been following the Patreon page, so you, I apologize. If you have been following the Patreon page uh, for Mr. Carlson's lab, then you know exactly what this is probably. So our, uh, our oscillator circuit is the trace on the bottom, and that is right now around, around 1.7 volts, peak to peak. And if you notice our amplification, it is channel 2, that is 22.2 volts peak to peak. So even though the uh, oscillator uh, amplitude is just a little low, the uh, amplification is wonderful on this thing. It's a nice, smooth transit. Those are my fingers. Hold on. This this is the, the pot. It's nice and smooth mode all the way back up, all the way back down. It's wonderful. So Okay, so I'll back up here just a little bit and show you our board. Right there in the corner is just our little circuit. Not much to it. Um, and then this is our power supply. Mine is going to be a benchtop model. Uh, the, the power supply, this is a Meanwell uh, dual output regulated uh, power supply, 15 volts positive, 15 volts negative. And it's actually a pretty well built little board. Um, it's been running all night and, well, for a few hours anyway. It's not even warm. I mean, you just, you know, it's, uh, it's fine. Um, I think it was $11 on Amazon, so uh, I think you can get them on Jamico, Jamco, I'm not really sure how to say that. I usually get stuff on DigiKey and Mauser, so that one, that one's a new one for me, uh, but I'm going to check into it a little bit more, so. Okay, uh, I will keep you guys posted as, as further developments occur, and for right now I'm going to go uh, back to just playing with my potentiometer, because that's what I'm good at. You guys have a wonderful day.